Okay, we should be live, although I'm going to try and make sure the audio is working correctly. I've been having a lot of audio issues, and so, whoops, okay, uh, Marma J Foundation, I gotta like search the Marma J Foundation, okay, I'm live apparently. Although I'm going to try and make sure the audio... Okay, yeah, looks like it's working fine, um, the rain is quite loud, um, behind me, uh, in the back, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, I might try and move the mic a bit closer to me, it's, uh, that might be better, I don't, it might be too loud, I don't know, uh, actually, let's try and check, uh, see, it seems a bit loud, but we're gonna, oh, thank you, thank you, we're just gonna leave it how it is for now, Bianca so kindly brought me my coffee, okay, so today, we are going to actually be keeping things relatively simple. Uh, and we're just going to be using Pike's Peak. I just closed a lot of tabs that I might not have should have, whatever that means. Uh, but let's just go to Pike's Peak. And I probably have not logged in on this machine yet. So you might have to bear with me, but... Hey everyone, uh, Chloe Lewis here, uh, co-founder of the Marmor J Foundation, and welcome to Coffee with Chloe in the afternoon today. Um, I got my coffee though, got some uh, some soup that Bianca made me. Um, and yeah, let's let's sign in. And okay, so it's not saved. Let's see. Eh. Ooh. Let's see if I can remember this uh, please save because I will not remember that and so basically what I'm going to be doing is you know typing in addresses of, of DAOs right for the next hour at least probably hour and a half maybe two hours even so for example J dot but Nick Dow dot near and I'm going to be digging into some general stats. And so, and we're going to make some general assumptions. So I'm going to go over like bef um, some like general things first before I start, just so it makes sense a bit more, hopefully. Um, and we'll go from there. So if people are right now just super confused, like what is a DAO, what's happening? Um, there's this website called astrodow.com that kind of gives a lot of information about, you know, different DAOs that, you know, this DAO has collected NFTs, this DAO, you know, manages DAP development, you can curate news, you can govern a blockchain, you can run a record label, you can distribute grants. And so this website kind of explains to you all the different things you can do with an Astro DAO or a DAO on the near protocol blockchain. It shows you how many DAOs there are that are active, uh, how much volume or how much funds are being managed by these DAOs. And this is definitely not uh, a conclusive number because a lot of DAOs are managing smart contracts that also manage value, which is pretty I mean, pretty cool. Um, but there's been 33,000 proposals. And I, ho I hope this is showing uh, approved proposals, but I assume it is, um, which is awesome. So you can get involved in all these DAOs. So if you, if you click Marma J DAO, it'll bring you to this DAO here. That is so cool. I gotta talk to Magic Powered because Magic Powered builds that UI and that is the one of the coolest UI flows that I think I've ever seen in a Web3 application where like I didn't have to click launch app because that's, that can be scary for a lot of people when they just get started, but it kind of just says get involved and Jordan, props to Jordan, uh, star pause, ugh. This is great. I have even gotten no code, DAO launcher, supercharger community. This looks really good. Treasury management, flexible governance. I cannot wait for this, like NFT ownership or chain activity and all of that. It's yeah, not there yet. We're getting there. We're so close. Um, but this looks really cool. You need near account, create a wallet. Let's see what happens here. Okay, it just opens near wallet. This looks great. Anyways, 
Uh, when you actually go to the DAO, you'll see that we have marmaj.sputnik-dao.near, and we've been active for quite a while uh, as a DAO. We've had a lot of funds in our treasury. We've had not a lot of funds in our treasury at times. Um, we've tried bounties. We've collected NFTs, like I said. Um, we have a couple active proposals right now, actually. I should probably look at those. Um, oh, okay. We have a proposal here that needs to be voted on. And let's see, active proposals. Let's also make my screen a bit smaller so I can actually see what's happening. Okay, so there was one active proposal. It says two. So that's a bit, you know, concerning a tiny bit. Like, let's see, v2 dot sputnik dot fund. I think this should work. There we go. And then, oops, control F, marmage. I love the term marmage, to be fair. Why do we have so much near in our DAO? <clears throat> Crazy. Didn't realize we had so much near in there. I thought I would have swapped to ST near already. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, um, request for payout, request for payout, in progress approved okay only show me in progress yeah only ones in progress two people voted but chloe and monish voted so bianca still has to vote for oh bianca hasn't voted for me going in earcon yet apparently uh it's not a very important initiative for the community so uh we'll, we'll see if she approves it by next call i'll have to we have an internal call on wednesday uh, I'll have to plead my case and see if see if I can get a DAO vote. Monish has uh, has, has voted for me though, so we'll see. Um, yeah, maybe if I give her a really long back massage tonight, uh, she'll be nice and relaxed, and uh, yeah, <laughs> she'll be able to vote. Um, but yeah, so the point is, we can start researching, seeing. Okay, look, there's 846 near in here, and if you look at the funds in the DAO, you can see there's also uh, what is it? Where are we? Uh, where's the near? There you go. 400 and 845.997. So, you know, it rounds it up. Actually, that rounds it a bit too much, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not sure it rounds, I'm not sure why it rounds. Oh, oh, yes! That's so awesome! It rounds it, but when you hover, it shows you the exact amount. That is, and let's see if I... On hover, uh, there you go. So here you go. You can find. You can. So if you go to like copy and paste the full amount, right? You could still. Get, you can just still inspect and then just get what, what would have been on the hover. So that's good enough for me. I don't mind. Most people wouldn't care about knowing the exact amount. Anyways, uh, the UI is kind of showing. Oops. Oops. See, I broke. I broke the UI now. My, I'll re, I have to, I'm not, I'm not very good with, <laughs> I can, ins oh, now it's showing the exact, you know what, you know what, that's cool, okay, thank you for showing me decimals now, but that's weird, right, please tell me that people saw that, <laughs> I'm glad I streamed this stuff for this reason, so I don't think I'm crazy, because if I, if I didn't stream this just now, I would have legitimately thought I was, like, yeah, going a bit insane, but no, it was showing, uh, 846 before and now it's showing two decimals which is great because two decimals precision is awesome uh, Not you do not need uh, always eight decimals but it's great to have it on hover but yes to be more oops precise uh, oh Bianca voted yay she's, she's commenting and laughing uh, so if I go back to the Marma J Dow there should be no proposal yay zero active proposal I don't know why it said two before very weird. Now it says zero because Bianca voted. Ooh, and now the Marma J Research DAO has funding. And now the Marma J Research DAO can fund Ernest's wonderful videos, which are highlight reels of this, which is kind of insane. So thank you, Ernest, for all that you do. You're amazing. Um, so yeah, the idea now is that I have a list of DAOs that I want to kind of look into and research. The idea is, okay, let's see, for example, transfers. 
you could start seeing how much near has come in and how much near has gone out. So for example, on Astro, you get a lot of information, but you don't get to dig in this much. So you could actually click on Astro, click near, and you can get a lot. You can see how much near they are. Okay, this is not a near. It would be, oh, I should actually tell them that. Ugh. Okay. Gosh. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Leave feedback. I'll do it. Oh, I'm not even logged in. Lord help me. Okay, let's see if it works. Yes, Google. For some, I don't like you at all, actually, these days. But so darn efficient. Uh, okay, feedback. How do you even do this again? Okay, title. Um, treasury. Uh, uh, UI. Uh, treasury mm, FT uh, value chart uh, not token specific. I'm not sure if I spelled any of that right, but and that's going to bother me so much. Why did I do that? Treasury, and what is it? Yeah, treasury, it's called treasury. Treasury FT value. So on treasury page example. Oops, ah! Sorry, I mean, I'm always using different kind of, anyways. Uh, example, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. what am I trying to say? On the treasury page, um, when when selecting a FT to uh, view, let's just call it something like that to view. Um, the chart does not update to show token specific. Values. I yeah. Let's. I think let's like I know I know how to spell those words. My hands just don't do what I tell them to when I type. <laughs> Anyways, tokens of values. Uh, the chart continues to show. Oh gosh. Show. Uh, what does the chart continue to show? Uh, the full. Let's say near. Uh, value of, well, I guess for the Dow, but it would be uh, useful to show the value in that token over time. So let's see if that even makes sense, or if it's even possible, right? Because If I'm here hitting like, oh wait, does it change? I don't think it changes. Let me check. Cause it wasn't, it does change. See, this is why I double check. I didn't think it did. This must have updated. See, this is why I double check. See it, wait. This is inc. Wait a second. Is this a different issue? Okay, yeah, this is a different issue. Oh, because they can't get events for all the FT token. Mm. I guess it's not really a bug then, is it? It and it does. Uh, I don't feel like leaving feedback for it anymore because it's not a bug. Before I was like, this is more similar to a bug. Now I'm like, okay, now it just doesn't work in a useful manner because I can't change the time. It only shows the day, like. I guess the value of Marma J for today, which obviously isn't that helpful. Whereas for near, it does show like a historical value of the near tokens in the wallet. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I haven't even started the real video. That's what I'm saying. I'm streaming for a while. Um, but here you can actually start seeing everything. So it'll show, you know, every time there's been incoming near to the token. Um, and so, for example, anytime someone wants to 
submit a proposal. I'm pretty sure they would have to submit some near. Although this doesn't seem like all the people that have submitted proposals, but maybe it is. Uh, then outgoing near. You can see, uh, or I think only the top people. Yeah, the top outgoing. Uh, and then incoming tokens, uh, outgoing tokens for everyone, which is which is pretty cool to be able to see as well. Like, how many times have has this person get, gotten paid out? You know, how many tokens have you sent to these addresses? So for farming rewards, uh, for Ref Chef, you could see you know the DAO has sent Ref Chef these tokens. You know, Multi Call has been sent tokens, uh, and yeah, it's pretty cool. You could see like who's earned the most. Uh, in the DAO, right? You can kind of see Ref Chef has gotten quite a bit of USN. Uh, Flying Rhino got a quite a bit of, you know, Marma J for their work, you know, helping us out for a bit. Um, you know, Bianca has gotten quite a bit. Ref has gotten quite a bit. Chloe's gotten quite a bit. Uh, multi call contracts have probably gotten the most. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Marma J out near foundation contract just for farming and liquidity. Bianca.near loaded. Bianca.near is the largest receiver of Marma J from the DAO. Uh, then Sof. Um, so yeah, Sof is received. You know, good a good job. That's awesome. Uh, Marma J research. You know, quite a bit there. Tabea doing big things. Twenty three proposals. Or 23 distributions. So as you can see, you could dig into quite a bit and see how active a DAO is, right? You can see how many different tokens are being sent. And this page alone could probably give you quite a like view of how active a DAO is. So here is the main portfolio where you can see, okay, how much is the DAO staking? How much, what kind of balances they have? You know, um, are they doing any kind of staking on the DAO? What are their deposits in different kind of things, whatever, X, ref, ST, near, all of this. Um, daily number of transactions, incoming calls, how many incoming proposals you've had, how many ad proposals you've had, how many bounty claims uh, we tried. It didn't work out very well for us, so we kind of stopped trying that. Hopefully, we'll try it again in the future. Um, and these ones were like the scare. Uh, no. I, uh, oh, the old transfers that we used to have before they fixed it. <laughs> Um, and yeah, then you can go into like, oh, they don't have NFTs yet. Oh, okay. Soon. Hopefully the graph is crazy. Okay. The graph is crazy. I don't even know how to explain how crazy this is. The fact that, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's wild. It's wild because the, okay. It's top 300 and it's showing. Okay. Uh, two of, okay. This is just, okay. It's hard. I, I wish. Okay. Wait, let's see. I think I can. It should, yeah, there we go. It, it still doesn't show very well. It does not resize fully. Oops. So I do want to talk to them about that. Like, this is such a cool tool that I would love if it, you know, was able to resize more efficiently and I can see what was going on better. Um, maybe I could... Where are we? No, no, no. No, no, no. The whole thing. I want the. Whole... I don't want to read. I just want to get it. Yeah. Okay. The top. No. No. Maybe. No. There. Yeah. Yeah. Get over it, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, but where is it? That's just okay. Some nodes were hidden. Show all. Okay. <laughs> mm, I guess it's not, they don't just get it from a link, they actually just like build it out. That's crazy. Uh, I think I have no honestly I don't know but would be cool if I can just like take that and move it to a new tab or something like that but do not think it's that simple 
if I take a screenshot. Okay, so I can get a screenshot of this. That's pretty cool. I'll download that. So that's kind of what Marma J Dow looks like. And so now I'm going to kind of stop too much of my rambling and rambling, you know, constant rambling. Um, and I am going to get the actual list that I need to search through and start like go through the neck, the first one on the list that I want to kind of start looking up some stats on. Um, so, okay, here we go. Um, let's just open a new tab. So let's pin Pikes Peak on Marma J so we can see what that looks like. And then let's new tab. And obviously we want Pikes Peak again. Uh, and then Afro Star. Okay. Um, okay, so currently there's nine near in the account. Uh, no staking contract. Nothing on ref. Ooh, 160 transactions in one day. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. So they've had quite, you know, pretty active DAO for quite a while. I mean, like, okay. Um, a lot of proposals going through. Uh, add, act. Okay. Only three council members, so that's fair. Um, let's see. So half the near came in from creatives and half the near came in from Afrostar uh, in dot near in 24 different transactions. So I guess, pre, you know, in the past funds would come in through creatives. So they got a lot, you know, quite a bit in the past. And then, wow, 20, it took them 24 transactions to get that much. That's not that much. Um, and they ended up distributing to a, quite a, also incoming near, that doesn't really count, sorry, outgoing near is where we actually start looking at how many individuals are receiving near. Um, so, you know, council members, these are the three council members I'm assuming, pretty even split of the outgoing near, but that's quite a bit, potentially, right? 70% uh, of the funds. Um, arguably only 30% of the funds should be going to council, but that's arguably just for council work. So if a council member is also managing Twitter and also managing other events and like just doing all this other stuff on top of that, then yes, it would make sense that as community, as web three community members, you would wear many hats. And so, you know, doubling or even, you know, uh, the amount you'd receive could be reasonable. Um, one second. I'm just going to close the door quickly. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. So, the next outgoing near, for some reason, there was 11 near that went to Sputnik Dow dot near, maybe for account crew. Oh, for when it first got created and then for the upgrade. Okay. Um, and so these are actually quite low amounts. Um, all the other amounts. So uh, it seems like pretty much all of the funds from this DAO have gone to just arguably three people. Um, you know, one person may have come in for a bounty. Um at least in the in in you know in the, in the near tokens, if you look at history, you could see you know they've been active, at, you know with their DAO, you know very active up until very recently. It's it, that's today, um, and there's more than fifty transactions. So I guess why is it only? Sh that's weird. It's like loading them as I click them. Okay, very smart I guess. Let's see. How many will it load? This is an amazing way to do it. Okay. So 1,600 events in the DAO. So they, they've definitely been active. Let's see their graph. Okay. Um, you know, quite a few people active in the graph. Okay. So this is, you know, 
what another DAO on the list would look like. So let's see what was the kind of information uh, we're looking for. So the number of near accounts, so there was three, uh, when it was founded. Okay, so total number of wallet interactions with the DAO. So in my opinion, I'm gonna call that events. Now we didn't look at Marmajay's events. So let's try and keep clicking through. I'm not sure, like, right? So I'm just gonna stop at like 5,000 and just leave it here. Um, oops. Oh, okay, it's only 4,400. That's not like, okay. That's reasonable. Okay. Let's, let's hope it opens and actually shows. Because you can download the whole CSV and get the exact number. So I think that's a pretty good number. It seems like that's showing actual activity, not necessarily funds that have been transferred. Right? This seems... We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. We'll see more DAOs and we'll see... But I'm going to, for now, write, I think the number was 1,600, and I'm going to have to click it again because I do not like that I have to click this. Oh, sorry, 400 events. And then Marmajay was 4,000. Okay, or 4,400. Okay. So, let's see. Total number of DAO interactions with the Creatives DAO. So, let's see. Transfers, incoming from creatives it seems like only one but it also seems like there's 24 from an astro dow account and stuff so potentially difficult to ascertain whether it was interactions with creatives or not but it could be 25 so if i was gonna check that i would say maybe 25 in this certain metric that i'm not even sure makes sense uh, total funding received from Creatives DAO. Again, not even sure if this metric makes sense, um, but I guess it would be you know this number plus this number. That doesn't even seem that like right because you know it's at least this much. So you could just write like one seventy five, literally plus one thirty six. Point eight nine, and then another question mark is like, you know, how are we checking this data? Does that even make sense? <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, you can get all the information just from here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this. Close this. Uh, let's check out the next one. So I'm gonna keep that in there, and I'm gonna type in. Beat DAO. Okay. So here you go. You can instantly see, right, quite a bit more. And you can kind of see which account it's been, right? So it seems... So let's just go through it a bit quicker this time. Oh. Council... Council near accounts. I don't even know what that means. Okay. So let's see. The first thing we wanted to see, though, is I think the events. And I want to see if this is a useful stat. So let me... Let's go here. Let's see. Okay. Okay. This seems to be a useful stat. At least... Okay, so 1650. Let's see. This, for now, I'm I'm thinking this is at least like how many proposals have gone through, how much voting has been going on, um, and that would kind of make sense potentially. Um, you know, let's see the graph. Okay, so the graph is much larger as well. Um, most are from like crans. Oh, sorry, this is just the near transfers, sorry. And everyone who's voting. 
Um, what am I looking for? Yes, I'm looking for the inflow, sorry, the outflow of near. So here we can see it's spread a little more evenly. So crans.near did take on a lot of responsibility, did earn the most. Around 30%, which is around the amount that a mod should make. Um, and, and it seems like there's a lot of other people that are kind of spread out in, you know, the other potential you'd call earnings. So near hub, you know, earn something for creating uh, in the space, you know, freedom and flow, uh, sleazy moss, Ted IV. So, I mean, there's a lot of people who earned, I mean, not an insane amount, but like here, Wizzo, 49 different, contrib you know, pay, uh, transfers. That's pretty cool. You know, the DAO was used a bunch of times to distribute funds to a bunch of, di like 12 distributions to give 1.2 near. Now, I'd love to see maybe more near going out for this many interactions. Um, like maybe this is just how many, uh, getting your bond back from votes potentially on, on this many interactions, actually. It looks like that, actually. Yeah, this is just getting your bonds back from voting. So this, these all don't count. Um, bond back from voting. This... Yep, so this is just, uh, they bought some NFTs, doesn't count. Uh, this one would count. Four transactions to this person, Sputnik Dow doesn't count, and then Vandal. So if you look at here, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, uh, maybe 12 people supported by this community. Um, and maybe 1,200 near, I can't do math in my head, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, 1,200. So total number of interactions with the creatives DAO. We're going to say is 240. I'm not even sure if that's the correct number, but that's the metric that seems to make the most sense. Like how many times has crans.near sent near in? Now this is also going to include Propose like submitting proposals and all of that, so it's not a great number. I will admit that. Um, actually, wait. Oh, because it's only going to show tokens. But here, we can see a better number. Okay, let's see. They started using die. Ugh, this is good. This is what I'm saying. Like. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to be able to go through this many. But th okay, so this group, for example, switched to die at some point. Uh, so let's see history. Uh, and see if... You could, probably, you could probably reasonably see when die it switched to die. And there's going to be... Because there's only six, uh, 600 events, right? So... So yeah, this is sending, wait, this is just voting, die in May, die in March. They've been using die since February. Wow, smart group. So they've been swapping out, so probably Kranz has been swapping. And that's probably why you see so much funding going to Kranz to go swap to die. So you'd really have to start seeing, you know, who's receiving the most die. They've been using die since January. Don't know how long they've been active. And you could, you know, you could see how long they've been active just by checking here. So since November, they've been active. So I guess that's a date I could actually get. Whoops. Uh, founded V2. Seems like what? Um, November tenth, twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. Oh shoot! Nuggets, I'm knocking over my coffee almost. And I guess for the UI here, <clears throat> gotta remember to tell them that. We gotta have the dates here, like the year, because obviously, looking back to DAOs that have been around for a while, uh, only knowing the month and day is not enough. I mean, okay, so obviously, I could just 
open it on the Explorer. And, oh, they're trying to give me a Pike's Peak transaction viewer. They probably have never even looked at a transaction this far in the past here. Let's see. Seems to not want to pull it up. So that's not good. Uh, but at least it's giving me the transaction hash. So I can copy and paste that. And then I can go to, <coughs> sorry, the Explorer. Pumpkin Spice is not doing me good. Let's just take out just the shard net part of that. Put the hash in there. And there you go. Crans, uh, November 10th, blah, blah, blah. All the information, BeatDAO, arguments, how they created it, what happened. The BeatDAO and inflation has had own rights to possess authority, common, blah, 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 do its own thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tax deposit. So Kranz created the DAO. Cool. Good job, Kranz. Proud of you. Um, <clears throat> my gosh. Let's see. Let's see. See, this is why I'm good at recording things and digging in, but my battery's going to die. Um... One second, gotta respond to a relatively important message. Okay. So I got. I mean, hopefully the stream's going well because I don't have a sec. I gotta get a second screen set up here. I gotta clean up this room. This, uh, gotta just get to Antigua. That's like the, there's so much traveling happening over the next few weeks. Neocon coming up and everything. Um, actually, shoot. My battery's on battery saver, but the whole point is that I was looking at my list here. So maybe I'll just go through. How long have I been streaming? Maybe I'll just go through like one more and uh, see what that looks like. So November 10th, um, total number of wall interactions with the Dow. I'm going to have to find a, a number, a better number for that. So let's see. <clears throat> In the overview, yeah, you can tell they use die right here. <clears throat> we'll just use this. Total transactions. Because... That's just giving me a full number of everything. So instead of 1650, I just go 2.55 uh, or just 255500. Uh, and let's go to Afrostar. Just to make sure we get like. Something like reasonable. And I can't spell. Uh, okay. So here, 851. Okay. So that's a much more reasonable like way of doing it, I think. It just gives a total number. So 851. And then, the, you know, the date formed of the DAO would be just going to um, the history and going to the first event, All right? So there was like seven, are these numbers just constantly changing? I wonder if this, this wouldn't be easy, this would be worse, right? I think so. Yeah, it's gonna be way worse. This thing has to do each page. What? There you go. December 18th. Twenty 
I don't think I'll be able to get like a good number for total number of interactions with the creatives DAO, to be honest. So like, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think like, at least not like a, oh my God, oh my God. yeah, not a good number, like not one that's reasonable or like useful for now. Uh, total number of funding coming in from the creative down. Now, this number still seems mostly accurate because you can get the number where it's like, you know, 179, right? 179 plus 136.89, which is actually so close to what the other, wait, this is Afrostar. Why am I, I'm sitting here going crazy. Um, beat. Down. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Much better. Um, <clears throat> we're saying 758.6 plus. Because I mean, we're not going to get a full snapshot of everything like for every DAO. We're kind of just looking for the numbers for now. High level, what's useful? How much near came in? Again, it's not going to be very accurate. And then we have this other number here of like how much die has come in, which is also, you know, very, like, it's, it's hard to know, like, Okay, they're also distributing dye. You can see 40, you know, people who are receiving their dye here. Okay. Nice. A lot of people are receiving various amounts. It's very good. Uh, okay. So for this, if there's... I would assume we're looking at uh, plus so, uh, 26k. I'm just going to put like larger numbers if it's this big. Um, actually, I'm not going to. <laughs> Plus, so bulk sender is probably directly from near. And this is when they were taking the near and swapping it. Oh, that makes it so complicated too. Because that means they received near, but they probably swapped it and sent it here. Seven times that happened. But yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure how many of these, I'm not sure if I could even provide that number in a useful way. I'm going to stop looking for that number at all, actually. doesn't seem useful. Okay, so the only useful number that we can actually look for, I mean, I think there's a lot of useful data here, but in terms of like, like date founded, so, so I'm going to stop getting the values from like what I was doing before because it doesn't seem like the metrics that I was looking for previously were that valuable. In terms of like... But I think I have to show how to use Pike's Peak and dig through these things. Looking into 
let's see. Looking into how I would see. Mm, yeah, this isn't very helpful. The DAOs tab here isn't very helpful to me. Um, I think just, yeah, looking into a wallet is probably the most useful. Um, let's go back to Mar and Jay so we can see like so in my opinion you know number of fungible tokens used would be a useful metric right because you saw that beat DAO was kind of experimenting with different things and using die whereas um, Afro star was only using near and like Mar and Jay has all of these um, staking might be a bit more complex. DeFi or no might just be a simple yes, no. Total transactions does seem useful for sure still. Um, I don't think any of the incoming call stuff is useful. So number of fungible tokens used. Um, DeFi or no, like are there any DeFi projects there? You could just be staking or no. So staking or no, DeFi or no, total transactions. Um, in terms of transfers, I think the most useful piece here was like how many unique people received tokens, right? And if this shows, I don't think this shows more than, I don't think the top ones show more than 50. I think the tokens one, you can like load more. I don't. We could try. Let's try, try beat dow dot sputnik dow dot near. Just quickly, I want to see. Yeah, it'll only show 50. And then here, it'll, sh yeah, 43, right? So for Marmor J, we can click past 50, but that's it. Um, let's see. So that would be useful, right? You can see very quickly there's been 43 token recipients that's pretty cool that's a useful number in my opinion incoming is is kind of difficult but let's see how we can compare it i mean yeah i guess like there's been a variety of different types of to but this is just more experimentation stuff nothing useful was happening here but a lot of useful things were happening on the outgoing token side so i think you know uh, 43 unique individuals uh, receiving tokens is pretty cool. Um, I do not think that this allows to go. Let's see. In history, uh, this is where we're showing, like, the. I wish I can just click to the end. It's kind of sad that I can't, but sure, I can click through. I can see the date of inception, which I think is pretty useful. Uh, you can get some pretty... So getting the link for this is probably just the most useful thing. Um, or the transaction hash, because, again... Uh, with the transaction hash, you can just go to the Explorer and get whatever you want. So transaction hash of uh, version 2 DAO being created would be useful in my opinion. Um, and maybe that shows on Astro. Probably not though. So if I was going to the DAO and I was going to... Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Let's see. Uh, too bad you can't just like... What, proposals let's see proposals maybe there's a faster way uh governance mm. and how quick how long does it take proposal id 51 oh okay not governance but function calls mm. nope function call oh we have so many function calls here though that's not gonna work Okay, sad times. Anyways, this is the fastest way to get that. Um, transactions, that would take too long. Graph, I think potentially getting a screenshot of each graph would be helpful if we can get the proper screenshot. So I got to talk to them about that. This is, looks super useful just to visualize quickly how active the DAO is in an ecosystem. Um, oh, uh, okay, wait. Oh, top 300. But it seems like we can get a value out of 300. So let's see. So Marma J, graph. See, we're only at 205. So that seems very useful as well, actually, as a number. 
Um, you can get past 50 on the pass on the last page. So those seem to be the most useful data points from Pike's Peak. There is also dot. That doesn't seem correct. Yeah. Let's see. That also. Oh, I think I did it. Yes. Okay. Um. So here you can also so. Yeah. So here you can kind of see, you know, the activity again, 813. Yeah. You, good enough. Groups two, which interesting enough. I don't think one's used, but I guess they created another one recently. Maybe it is being used. That's cool. Uh, that's probably why there's so much more activity recently. Awesome. That's very useful information. Uh, users and activity. Let's see. All users per DAO, pretty good. 56 people interacting. Users that are a member of a DAO, that's awesome. So a lot of the users are active in the community on either this DAO or other DAOs. Um, but maybe, you know, you can see they're maybe not expanding out into the community as much. Um, so that might be helpful. Like the ratio, this ratio seems pretty useful. Uh, number of interactions. That looks weird because this says 844 and this says 813, but I guess activity can go down. Maybe it's over. Yeah, I don't know how it's even possible, but anyways, number of proposals, vote through rate. That might be useful, actually. Uh, proposal type, again, I think this is a graph that should just be kind of like ugh, extrapolated upon potentially and then just like ugh. I mean it's not useful I think I mean for most communities if there are specific communities that are super involved in like but I don't think these tags are probably very um, efficient yet but we'll get there total in total out might be pretty useful as a ratio too Um, if it loads. Okay, here we go. So total in, it's only showing near, which again, isn't always as helpful, but you know, they've literally drained their entire DAO every time, which I guess is fine. Um, incoming, outgoing, so that's relatively helpful. It'd be more helpful if it showed fungible token than everything else. No bounties. Um, and this again, I think it's I do think it's important to show like value of tokens and number of fungible tokens. They have oh, and they have one NFT. Okay. So let's look at Beats DAO real quick. Beats Ugh, Beat DAO. There is a search. So let's go back to the top. Activity. Let's actually zoom out too. Okay, so quite active. Two groups. Great. Uh, when did they implement that? Uh, similar timeline around June. Okay. Users and activity. Okay, so this is, a, I guess. I actually think I like this ratio a bit better because this means that also council members don't count in this. So people that are not in DAOs, not necessarily like receiving funding from the near foundation are voting on this DAO and interacting. That's kind of cool. So I think that's actually, I think a ratio that would be uh, potentially more positive um, or like potentially a direction DAOs could use and say, hey, how active are we being? And I have no clue what Marma J's would look like. I can go through that after, I guess. I could just duplicate. Uh, Marmage. 
Uh, let's see. And then Marmajay research would be, would be like one, per and it depends on the purpose, right? Is the purpose of your DAO to reach out and onboard many people or is it to efficiently, you know, complete a task? In which case you'd have a different setup and different ratios. So I guess for me, when I say more positive, I mean specifically for onboarding users and efficient, you know, that type of stuff. <clears throat> Let's see if this loads. I mean, it will load eventually. But... <laughs> by white square. The, the white square is kind of cool, I think. But the buy, I, I would love a different. Okay, let's see. Click, I'll click button. See if that helps. Buttons, 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 buttons. It doesn't seem to be helping. Oh, because there's probably lots of stuff to load. Lord help me. Doesn't want to load it. <coughs> okay, let's go through this one still. Normally it doesn't matter. <coughs> Excuse me. I think now I'm just putting in too much request. There are things getting mad at me. Governance. I think the vote through rate is going to be pretty cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Okay, here, this works. So a lot of governance proposals on Marmor J. 54% of them. 43% are financial. Not many bounties and not many member ads. Makes sense. Vote through rate of 86%. Can't get this to load yet, though. Beats Dow, 619. I do love that number. Uh, vote through rate, 89%. Nice. 70% governance. 25% financial. That's cool. Uh, lots of member stuff. Nice. Very like very community-oriented DAO, it seems like. Okay. This will be a fun one. Total in, total out. Mm -hmm. See, even Marma J only has 170-something. Let's see. Yeah, so like Marma J has 170. My goal was to try and get it to 1,000. It's not that easy. Uh, users that are a member of a DAO, only 12. That's insane. What do you mean? Four th like, what do you, that doesn't sound right. Maybe it is right. A lot of our members are like first-time users, to be fair. But uh, governance, okay, financial. So they current total in five grand, total out five grand. Uh, you know, uh, incoming lots of incoming compared to outgoing. So probably lots of voting and submitting proposals, um, and the DAO just you know sub sends a transfer once or something like that. Uh, financial here, total in. 12,000 near, total out, 11,000 near. And that's because a lot of our tokens eventually end up swapping to other things. And so near will come in, but we'll end up, you know, either... Uh... Actually, that doesn't matter because it oh, it's because it's in our treasury. This needs, I think, uh, actually, that's too complicated. I was thinking about something, but that wouldn't work. Um, total number of bounties... I mean, sure, it's not that useful of a thing. Uh, number of fungible tokens, 19. Uh, value doesn't seem correct, to be fair. Um, but actually, oh yeah, it's not correct. Unless, like, let's check. There you go. Uh, so I wonder what it is showing. Let's see. 2,987. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't know, actually. Yeah, I don't know what it's showing. I was thinking, like, just the near tokens, but that's not correct. And the ST near is more. And the Marmor J is more. So, I'm not really sure if... It for a bit, I was thinking it was showing like one of the smaller valued tokens, but um, are we looking at the right thing? Like, yeah, Marma J. Full value. Okay. Yeah, it just doesn't seem correct. Um, 
Can I like leave an? Uh, I don't want to go to GitHub to leave it. I'm like, <laughs> let's see if I'm logged in. Um, I'm not even logged in. Oh, let's do that at least. Uh, Chloe. Org. Uh, this isn't gonna work. Okay, this one's definitely not gonna work. No way. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, that worked. Save. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't feel like issues. Add weekly active users metric for tires weekly active. They don't seem to have it as an issue. Okay, I might just leave all this open for later, and when I come back, maybe I'll leave an issue because I got there's no GitHub here to leave an issue for. Yeah, why doesn't Pike speak? That's the thing. You know what? I should message them right now. Um. Mm -hmm. I speak. Okay. Um, I don't think I wanted to go through anything else. I kind of wanted to just kind of show how you would use Pike's Peak to dig into a DAO and see how active it's been in the in the, in the, in the near community, see how many different tokens they've been using, uh, how many different individuals or individual accounts there may have been, you know, uh, you know, in, you know, su you know, supporting or you know, with tokens. Or with uh, coins, you know, whatever. Uh, and yeah, through that, I mean, seeing DAO stats as well as, as a potential tool. Some information doesn't seem 100% correct, though. But it's still pretty good as a tool. Um, and then how that would like relate to the treasury and how that looks into things. Um, I do think it's very weird that you can't just click Marma J, though, and just see something here because obviously yeah anyways but hopefully this was helpool for somebody if you're thinking about like is Pikes Peak, Pikes Peak is a hundred bucks a month which does seem like a lot to me um, you do get some pretty cool things so you can have like live transfers you know live near transfers live token transfers so you could see like let's see what loads in the next few minutes actually pretty like not that many transfers going through anyways uh you can see all the bridge transfers and who's bridging what oin getting bridge and usdc and usdc and you know what's happening on aurora woohoo very cool very cool uh so a lot of really cool stuff um you know like starting to dig into like validator research like who's staking with who um you know who's direct staking and then who's staking with Metapool, who's staking with Li Near, who's staking with Near X, which is really cool. I mean, one day Marma J would love to be here, and potentially even here. Like that's kind of one of the goals. Um, I mean, maybe a long time from now. But anyways, you could see. Oh, this is cool. Where Metapool's allocated, where Li Near is allocated, where Stater is allocated. So you know less and less centralized but going for lower fees this is you know a much higher fees on some of them but more decentralized this is a lot of low fee pools and even more decentralized i'm pretty sure 69 50 and only 15 like it's a lot of cool information here uh and you also can't pay for this in near tokens sadly um but yeah lots of really cool stuff to look into on pike's peak um let's see Hot wallets. So USN sent a hundred thousand boost farms fungible token transfers. Uh, 
go to next page go to next page so you can see like who's sending the most it's actually very interesting I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know over what time period they're trying to show this so okay first let's look on this one I wonder if we'll be able to find any Marmor J stuff here because these values seem really low and I'm not really looking very well okay so these values seem very low so let's see I'm not like I'm not uh, but yeah maybe it hasn't been checking for very long or maybe it's like just today right like over a 24-hour period what's been happening but I wouldn't think there'd be this much going over in 24-hour period hmm very interesting cool and then this is fungible token transfers again maybe it's just for today yeah it must be just for today like like I assume, like who's moving the most tokens today? But yeah, definitely one day. Like these values seem really low, but I guess for now you can't like choose. Oh, yeah, yeah, that must be just today, right? Like when are these? I don't know, like I don't know what time period they're using. August twenty ninth. Okay, yeah, it's twenty four hours. So there you go. Marmor did out near is there. If you if you move enough tokens in twenty four hours, it'll show. Jumbo farming. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> My gosh. What else is on here? Oh, looking up the Marmor token on here is always fun. Seeing how we're doing. We have Marmage, uh, 21,000 tokens, $100,000 market cap, uh, almost 2,000 holders. That seems a lot lower than the actual amount, but hey, I thought it was higher. Hmm. Why do I feel like... Interesting. Cool. So I guess now we can have a goal of 10,000. Uh, for first goal of 10,000 holders. But again, to me, holder... Well, you can't have 10,000 holders. The whole point is... 1.8 thousand holders doesn't mean anything. Because this is probably the number that means a tiny bit. Um, and this is the number that's actually kind of cool. Uh, 59 people have over $10 worth of Marmor J. That's like 400 tokens of the supply, $2,000. Um, this is kind of where we need more of our community to be, probably. Uh, there's 17 people here, and so like our community size, if the Marmor J community size, is, is probably like this many people. Um, in reality, right? So if you look at like other things in the Marmor J community, so if you go at like ref or, you know, app, and you look at all this other stuff and actually let's stay on Pike's Peak. It doesn't even matter, right? So this number doesn't mean anything. It looks nice and large and oh, $100,000 market cap and blah, blah, blah. But all of the activity and all of the farming. And so if you do go on ref and you go to the farms and you go to near the bottom now, we're not at the bottom anymore, but near the bottom, all of this economic activity, $600 a week, 72% APR, all this stuff that's going on, you know, $42,000 staked is pretty much just to 
support <clears throat> this community. And so the goal is obviously we have $42,000 staked to support a, you know, less than $10,000 of actual economic activity potentially in the community. And so how do we kind of grow the entire ratio in mind? This is totally not even about what it was currently about before, but we're talking about a DAO and how we use our token. So for, you know, $100,000 of market cap, um, we have 10% of that being held by, actively by the community, um, which is pretty cool in my opinion, right? I mean, that would be saying like out of all the U.S. dollars in reserve, 10% of the U.S. dollars are being held by like, uh, humans, I guess, maybe U.S. citizens, potentially, um, which, would, which would be, in my opinion, pretty insane. I don't think, well, I'm talking about, like, average U.S. citizens. I'm not talking about, like, one, exactly. I'm not talking about, like, you know, the two accounts that own 93,000 or the two accounts that own, you know, even that, a um, 1,000 or more. I'm talking about the, a lot less of the people owning, hopefully, you know, 10% or more of the market cap, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the full token is deployed. And so, yes, the Marmaje DAO does hold some Marmaje tokens, um, but that's just to, to redistribute for bounty payouts. So that's just like the DAO has to budget how that works and get grant funding and other funding to get things done. Um, 492, not bad, not bad. Uh, I think we're above the price of ST near as well right now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, not bad. 1.07. So, uh, you know, some days we're doing, you know, the token is doing quite a lot of volume. Um, generally not that much though, like a few hundred dollars of volume, just in, you know, arbitrage and stuff like that. Uh, just keeping the price, you know, the real market price, let's say. Um, and yeah, so, you know, to me, it's really fun looking into the token on Pike's Peak because... You can, again, you could see every single holder, but let's start seeing. You can dig into all the holders in a way where you can see who holds, you know, even even one Marma J, right? Would be, in my opinion, quite a bit. So let's see. Ah. Okay, so 0.4. So some people here, for example, have 0.4 Marmor J, but quite a few people have like half a Marmor J, so $2 to $3 worth, right? So Jumbo Exchange has 0.7 Marmor J. Um, you know, Muti has 0.8 Marmor J. Uh, Three Arrows uh, has 0.9 Marmor J, probably from farming. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Um, you know, Max Jackson has one Marma J. Um, and so, yeah, you can see, and if you keep going, you'll see a lot of accounts that were just farming. So a lot of larger farming accounts, like SFB, um, dot near, uh, has a bit of Marma J. Schluff has a bit of Marma J. Um, Day Day has a bit of Marma J. And so a lot of people, um, who farm on the ref pair, We'll just have some Marma J by default. So on AVB, Crypto Garrick, why not? And that's just because, again, if you look at ref, you'll see that in the farm section on the ref near pair, um, <laughs> 9.00002. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are the rewards. Um, I actually might just continue, the, actually, I might just end this stream and restart a stream talking about how we distribute these rewards because I should just do it today because uh, tomorrow is the 31st and I shouldn't wait till the 31st. Um, let's see how simple that would be on this machine though. I would need to be logged in to uh, person one. And I would need to have, ugh, wrong account maybe. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. And 
I'm not sure if sender even works. Okay, let's see. Oh, PEM keeps going up. Love to see it. Um, I don't think we have that much PEM. So I would be on CLI, do a near login. It wouldn't even work because it wouldn't go to sender. That would be a huge pain. Ugh, so I need to I need to stream my laptop for this. So I might move to my laptop and stream this in a, in a minute. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna end the stream here um, and go stream in the other room. So yeah, <laughs> toodles everyone.